Good morning, Booktube. Hope you're having a good morning. I'm uh, slowly waking up to another day. Today is a Friday, October the 12th. Sitting in the dining room, looking all around me, looking outside. It is another dismal, cold, gray damp early autumn day and I'm writing in my diary as I said last night I'm on page this morning 838 I made that video last night it was kind of spontaneous I don't really plan out my videos whatever the spirit leads that's where I go. Carol left this morning for some appointment. And I leave for the book nook, the library used bookstore at 945 here in West Southwest Michigan. It is 838 in the morning. And uh, like I said, I was writing in my diaries and I got out to read well, this morning I was going to read Grounded in Heaven, Recentering Christian Hope and Life on God and Seeing God, the Pacific Vision and Christian Tradition by Hans Borsma. But then I kind of felt kind of, uh, you know, kind of out of it, just kind of blech. I don't feel, I haven't really felt good in a while. I mean, I don't know what it is. It's like Carol asked me, before she left for her appointment. She was going to go to a grocery store after the, her appointment. And she said, do you want anything from the grocery store? And I said, no, nothing tastes good. And it's right, everything I eat doesn't taste good. And I always feel sick after I eat. I always feel better when I'm not, if I just fast. But then I get really kind of irritable when I don't eat. So I, I can't win. Food doesn't taste good. So I eat, and then I just don't feel good. So I don't know what it is. My wife says, go to my doctor. I don't know. I think it's just old age. So uh, we were talking last night about my favorite books. And um, and I, met, I showed Looking Unto Jesus by Isaac Ambrose. There was another book. I read many, many years ago when I was out in California and when I first got into the English Puritans. Back then, I didn't have any money at all. And I had a little bit of money once in a while, but most of the time, I just, I just didn't have any money. And, uh, you know, it never really bothered me, I don't think. <laughs> Even when I was young, I just kind of I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know how I thought back then, but I mean, I never starved. I always had clothes. I always had shelter, and um, there were always libraries for books. I had girlfriends. I always had girlfriends and they had a car and they had houses and they had jobs and so and I did work a little bit off and on during those years before I left California to go to Bible College that was many years ago back in the late 60s and early 1970s but when I got into the Puritans around 1975 there in California, and like I've said, I would go to this seminary and read the old divines, the old English divines. And one of the books I read was reprinted by this guy that I mentioned here, Sprinkles Publications. Well, he published another book that I read many, many, many years ago. And this is it. And he published it in a little single volume. 
And the book, and I read this in an old 17th century leather, old smelly volume. And the book is titled, it's by William Bates, who was another 17th century English Puritan. And it's called The Harmony of Divine Attributes in the Contrivance and Accomplishment of Man's Redemption. This was published by Sprinkle in 1985. And I remember reading this book and just being blown away because way back then, in those early days, I didn't see or understand that that God has a plan, that every that that God is a sovereign God, and that the salvation of man sinners was planned out from eternity, and the counsels of grace, and how one of the reasons why God planned salvation was to display His divine attributes, to do display His glory and the salvation of sinners. So, yeah, this is called the Harmony of Divine Attributes. And then, later on, Sprinkle published the complete works of William Bates. These are the complete works of William Bates. I got these out this morning just to show you guys of what is in these volumes. The complete works of William Bates. He published these in... I think these came out in 1990. He published these. The works, the whole works of William, uh, Reverend W. Bates, arranged and revised with the memoir of the author. And in the first volume is the treatise, The Harmony. Well, it has in here uh, these kinds of treatises. Uh, considerations of the existence of God, the immortality of the soul, the recompenses of the future state, and the divinity of the Christian religion. So he goes into the existence of God. And then there is in here the volume on The harmony of divine attributes and the contrivance of man, contrivance and accomplishment of man's redemption by the Lord Jesus Christ. So this is in, in volume one of the complete works, and then in volume two of the works of William Bates is the forgiveness of sin. Uh, sermons on the forgiveness of sins. Second, the true trial of uprightness. Third, the great duty of resignation. Four, the danger of prosperity. And five, spiritual perfection unfolded and enforced. And then in volume three of the complete works of William Bates, he has, this is what I... Uh, this goes along with Richard Baxter, Saints Everlasting Rest. Well, he has in volume three, William Bates, The Everlasting Rest of the Saints in Heaven. And then he has on divine meditation. What does it mean that when we meditate, divine meditation? And then he has on the fear of God, the four last things. See, in the four last things, Bates has a section on death, on eternal judgment, and then one on heaven, and then what the last section is on hell. And the text for hell is, where their worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. And uh, so, yeah, saints everlasting rest of the saints in heaven. And then this volume ends on, on hell. And then the last volume, volume four of the complete works of William Bates, are miscellaneous sermons. 
and uh, on the existence of God, sermon, sermon, sin, the most formidable evil, sermon, how men are said to be the sons of God, another sermon, how to bear afflictions or sufferings, and then he has one on the marriage feast. The, the marriage feast of the Lamb that's mentioned in the Revela the last book of the New Testament, the Revelations. And then he has funeral sermons. And so, yeah. So I got these out. The complete works of William Bates. Got these back in the 90s. I, I must have been... We've been here in Holland 28 years. I, don't know, I, might, I might have got him when we were living here. So yeah, this is the complete works of William Bates. It's the kind of things I read. Well, I read for many years. Like I said, when I was start working, uh, I didn't have you know I didn't have energy. You know, I was raising our kids. I had my own struggles with assurance of salvation and I was always sick with my ulcer and I was always exhausted and I hated my job and I just was really a hard time and uh, when I would come home from work I would read the Puritans like I I've always do I I'm a slow reader and uh, but I they kind of sustained at me in my times of trial and suffering and darkness. But this book, uh, The Harmony of Divine Attributes by William Bates is one of my favorite Puritan works, along with uh, Looking Unto Jesus by Isaac Ambrose. So I just got those out just because here in BookTube you're supposed to show your books and these are the kind of books that a Christian bookworm reads as he's going through the wasteland, marching up to the heavenly city of Zion, waiting for the, the last day. So like I said, uh, this morning I go to the book nook. Last time I went to the book nook, nobody practically came in. And I don't know what I read. I mean, what was I... The last time I was at the book nook was on the 8th. Let me see here in my diary. What, I, what did I read there? Uh, on the 8th. Let me see here. Oh, Monday. I read Doing Nothing. That's right. I read Doing Nothing, which is the full title of that book is Doing Nothing, A History of Loafers, Loungers, Slackers, and Bums in America by Tom Lutz. That's what I read last Monday. I don't know what I'm going to take to read this morning. I was reading that novel, Asymmetry, and reading American Audacity those essays on literary criticism. Uh, I got, like I said, I got a stack of used books from thrift stores yesterday that I'll probably going to show in a video soon. This video I'm making this morning is just spontaneous. I just want to show you the works of William Bates and just give a morning ramble. But I know what I'm going to take to the book nook to read. I might just sit there with my eyes closed. Like I said, I didn't. Once again, I didn't sleep well last night. I don't really. You know, I just don't feel good inside. I don't know what it is. So I hope you will have a, a good Friday. This is Friday reads. I'll do. Like I said, I'll probably make a video tonight show those used books because I don't want them stacked up here in the living room, take them down to the lower level, get rid of them. And yeah, so I'll sign off. Until next time, bye.